Hello there. Today we are going to try the fly peacock by Colbert Crimson. The peacock is an Icelandic original fly and it's one of the most effective and one of the, one of the most used flies, flies in, in Icelandic fly fishing in general. So we start by attaching the thread to the hook shank and it's okay to wrap it like two or three times around the shank to create a uh, uh, to create like a pattern for the feathers and the materials that will be attached to the hook later on it's gonna be non-slippery with this method and I want to tie my peacocks to make them like fat and juicy so we'll add this white or any color of uh, wool type of wool type of band under the body so we are building up like an underbody right now and we simply wrap that around and it doesn't matter which color it is simply because it's going to be covered with the pico curls later on during the tying of the fly Then we lock the uh, wool in place with two or three tight wraps around the hat. We make sure though that there is enough space for the hat because the hat has um, a little different structure. Then after that we will be attaching the wire and I am for this fly I'm using a green wire which simply merges with the, the peacock curls. You can actually use either a copper wire or a golden wire, it doesn't actually matter. And the reason why I'm using the wire is simply that it makes a fly stronger. And if you want to make it like an extra durable fly, you can add varnish on the body. Well, you just attach the fly or the uh, wire you can apply like a like a coat of warness, warness under the body. So this is like a pre-body. Then the real body of the fly is something which we will be attaching right now. And we are taking about somewhere between six and eight. I like to take rather more than less, six or eight hurls of peacock. And we keep them like as long as possible because you don't want to be in that position that you just run out of feathers like the length of the feather has to be long enough to cover all the body so we can attach them attach them when we have covered the body to the head then we are then you'll just wrap it around like this away from us i do it like that and then you will wrap the wire the counter the counterway. As you see, one of the hurls sticks up from there. That's simply because it's not long enough. That's why we want to keep them as long as possible. Then we snip this off. Trim that off with the scissors here, very close to the head. And then we will take the wire and wrap the wire the other way around not the same way or the same direction like the feathers but the but the other way and that makes like the body it's gonna bind itself it's gonna like it's gonna be more like a structure and it's gonna hold for a longer time and the wire is like um, yeah it uh, secures the body and and it's gonna be more durable and when it comes to the uh, lifetime of the fly, it's gonna last definitely gonna last more fishes than it's it, it's without the wire definitely. So next step during the uh, fly tying the peacock is the globrite material. This globrite is red colored. It appears in the video as a pink, but it is red. You can either use red or orange globrite for it. 
you take like a few centimeters of that, like 10 centimeters or so. And I prefer to cut it in like half, as I'm doing there with my fingers. Place the ends together and cut in the middle, like that. That simply gives you like a double globe right. And it's simply because, I'm, I'm doing it simply because it's um, your quicker building up the hat like that. Then you'll attach it like this. You'll bend the end of it, just like the wire. So it will not go out of place, it's going to stay in place. Then you snip off the end of the globe right there. And you see those two strands of it. You'll wrap them around so about half of the head of the fly is covered with this red, beautiful globe right. And this fly is, um, is uh, imitating one of the nymphs we have in our environment here in Iceland. And it's definitely worth it to tie it and try it because it's really, really effective when it comes to uh, fishing in the springtime. Then I'm turning the bead around. You can use either golden bead or copper bead, or you can tie it without the bead, but I prefer to do it with a bead because uh, it's a springtime fly mostly and or, or you fish in the stream water and you, keep, you like to keep them a bit heavy. Then the fly is almost finished and we just do the whip finishing. I prefer to do it twice simply because uh, I'm, I feel secure while it's um, done twice. Then we'll cut the thread up close and apply a um, apply a layer of uh, varnish on the head. We'll turn the fly around. I'm using a Veniard varnish, varnish on this fly, but uh, I use actually all sort of varnishes and, and UV glues and stuff. We'll come in, into that later on when we'll be uploading some more videos to the channel. A little bit more of varnish, it's gonna make the hat only more durable. And then the fly is simply ready. You just make sure that the varnish dries up and you have the peacock fly by Colbert Grimson. Thanks for watching.